Alrighty, Sagittarius. So this is going to be a reading for November 4th through the 7th. Thank you so much for joining me back on my YouTube channel. This is going to be a 72 hour forecast. So definitely make sure you're keeping in mind that this is general. Everything I say may or may not pertain to you specifically. And if you would also like to get a personal reading with me, that information to book me will be listed below. Okay, also keep in mind I am only accepting video sessions currently. So it is going to take 24 to 48 hours for you to receive it. Unfortunately, I can't accept phone sessions because I have other projects that I'm working on right now. Okay. All right. So Sagittarius for November 4th through the 7th. November 4th through the 7th for my sun moon rising and Venus Sagittarius. Oh, okay. So Okay. So let's go ahead and get into it. So first thing we're going to talk about Sagittarius is the overall energy and what we have representing that I do have the strategy card as well as the 6 of wands. So for the next couple of days, you really are going to be brainstorming on your next move towards success. For a lot of you, you could be feeling like, okay, the path that you're on right now has kind of brought you to some sort of level of success here, whether that's you learning what, what to and what not to do <laughs> along the journey. This is also a lot of you just making some certain adjustments, right? This is like personality adjustments. This is adjustments with the way that you work, adjustments to the way that you see things. This is just adjustments to fit into the lifestyle or to get you to the point of feeling successful or actually being successful. And for a lot of you, I feel like you are going to come up with some sort of plan for yourself that is going to catapult you into that direction. Also, I am getting a sense that a lot of you, what really needs to happen is you need to kind of script out what you want to manifest. So I kind of said this for another sign, but when you're scripting, when you're literally like writing out what you want to manifest in great detail and you sign it off, you're literally writing the script to your life. So with the six of wands and the seven of swords, you really want to make sure that with your plan towards, towards success, that you don't have people around you who have false motives. Also making sure as well that you are overlooking things as you go and that you're not missing certain details in, in the rush of being successful. You know what I mean? Um, I also feel like as well, there is going to be new opportunities that come your way, but you're really going to have to think about some things. Now, um, switching gears, in a love sense, you may have somebody who really wants your attention who may have cheated on you, okay? I feel like this person really wants an opportunity to see where things could go. Um, with this, you're really going to have to decide whether or not you want this, okay? If this is even worth the effort. Now, when it comes to love specifically, let's go ahead and even talk about that, honey. Um, what we have representing that, we do have the appreciation card as well as the nine of wands. So for a lot of you, you're really going to either be in this space of, scratch that. I'm getting a sense of the appreciation card. You guys may have somebody in a love sense who wants to feel more appreciated or for some of you you could be in a space of feeling like look you need to be more appreciated because for a lot of you you put up with a lot um your partner may be energetically somebody who is hard to deal with at times and it's like look I put up with a lot of foolishness or I put up with a lot of stuff energetically and I just really want to feel as if like I'm appreciated and clarifying that nine of wands, I also have the five of wands. So yeah, it's like there could be some slight issues within your relationship. This could be arguing. This could be fighting. This could be um, you guys just going back and forth or outside people affecting the relationship. And you could be feeling like, look, I don't feel appreciated with all these extra people in the mix. Or I don't feel appreciated with the way that we keep arguing. 
Um, or you could just be mentally feeling conflicted about a situation where it's just so much going on. Now, when it comes to your money, I do have the man holding a heart and the nine of pentacles. So for a lot of you, you definitely need to do things that are more in alignment with what makes you happy instead of doing things that you think is just going to make you money. Um, because when you do things that are in alignment with your heart and what you care about, money will come to you. Money will flow to you. Opportunities will flow to you to make money. It's just making sure you're not doing things that aren't authentic. Authentic. What? Authentic? Is that even a word? Authentic. Excuse me. To yourself. Okay. And clarifying that. I do have the chariot. So yeah, a lot of you, you are going to be successful. It's just, you really need to make sure you're listening to your heart because if you're doing something that you don't really care for anymore, there's a need for you to either change your perspective on why you don't care about it anymore and how you can revamp what you have going on. Or if there's some stagnation that's going on currently, like I said, there's a need for a new strategy, a new plan. Now, when it comes to the advice I can give you for the next couple of days, I do have the contract card as well as the king of pentacles. Hold on. So with this, there's definitely a need for you to really make sure things are fair. Like you're, you're, you're dealing with people for one in a business sense who are actually trying to be fair to you in a financial uh, sense, like making sure if you are working a job that a job is not cheating you out of money or making you work an overload of hours and then you don't get paid. Or for some of you, when it comes to business contracts that may come up or things that you may want to do that may require like um, legal paperwork and stuff like that, you really want to make sure you're wanting to go in that direction first before you start filling out the paperwork or make sure that you even have the funds for it. Um, but for a lot of you, also when this comes to a marriage, if you're married or if you recently got married, I really feel like you want to make sure you're, this person is not just with you just because of security. Okay. Just, just because of security. So, um, also again, if there, if there is a way to move beyond the issues, I feel like you guys do need to talk. But if you guys overthink things and then you don't really get your feelings out there, this could also be a problem. So be aware of that. Now, when it comes to the obstacle that may come up, I do have the cornucopia card as well as the queen of wands. So for some of you, again, this could be you feeling like you want more for yourself. Even though you've gotten so much up until this point, it's like, I want more, I want more. Um, for others of you, it's like, you could be stepping into this energy, but then it's like, you still feel like things are just not right. Okay. Yeah. With the 10 of cups and the queen of wands, you could be feeling like there's some issues within your marriage already, especially if you just got married or if you, um, if you have been married, you could just be feeling like there's a lot of issues in your marriage. And you're sick and tired of, for some of you, putting on a facade, like everything's perfect. And you really just want to be done. For others of you, it's like a relationship that you are feeling like you're just at your wits end with. It's like, you want to fix things, but your person is just being so difficult. This could be another fire sign, maybe even a Pisces. But speaking of love, let's actually get more in depth with that. The cards that we have representing your love life for the next couple of days is... Release your ex and forgiving and learning. So with this, there's definitely a need for you to make sure you're not harboring on whatever your ex has done to you or even dealing with a partner who's still harboring onto whatever their ex did to them. Also, not keeping in contact with your ex anymore because for a lot of you, that could be confusing uh, the boundaries or you could have a, a partner who's still communicating with their ex and it's confusing the boundaries because they may be just saying they're friends and they're not okay um also with forgiving and learning again i feel like there's a need for you to forgive yourself for anything that you may feel like you've done wrong in a relationship and move forward as well as let go of whatever somebody else did to you because instead of holding on to it you can move forward and accept new love so 
And also, for some of you, I feel like there is some some healing that does need to take place within your family unit. Whether this is your marriage, with the person you have kids with, even with your parents or just people around you. So I'm going to stop there. Thank you so much, Sagittarius, for watching this. I really, really hope that you were able to take something from this reading. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And again, if you do want a video session with me, that information will be listed below. And um, yeah, I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.